I do, I too. So we are going to proceed with our planned um, slides and everything. So now we do want Stephen up. Um, we were talking about all kinds of things to do with driving track it to, traffic to the website and affiliates. And so this is another piece of that. Thank you, Go. guys. Thank you. Hey. Okay, so who's got a public profile? Keep your hands up. Who doesn't know what a public profile is or would like one? Okay, so you guys need to get together. That'd be great. Thank you. Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is um, a way that you could leverage your profile to get more attention from Google, Search, um, Bing, Yahoo, the search engines. And we've added a new piece into public profiles that I'll describe to you at the end. But I just want to go for a couple of things first so that we can have a look at how, how search works, how this public profile could work for you. So what we want to see here is that your profile is more visible so people can find it, yes? Okay, and then you can get more visitors. And then your profile has more value to you and to the people that are coming to visit, okay? So that's kind of where we're heading with this. So I have access to a lot of stats and numbers and trends and you don't want to know, really. <laughs> but I pulled this out because I think this is interesting. So you can see that 50% of profiles receive two visitors or less or two visits or less a month. All right, that's not a lot. And 90% of profiles receive, how many? Exactly, that includes zero visits, right? So that's zero to 10. Now, question, would you like your profile to be in the 90% group or the 10% group? 10%, okay, so everybody doesn't, everything doesn't allow that, can we destroy and create it all? You're willing to do everything it takes? Everything that is, good and bad, right and wrong, pod, pock, or nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at a couple of profiles just to kind of see what's working, what's not working, what other people are doing, and a, a couple of points we're gonna make for you. Andrea Ramayan at the top is in the, the month of October this year was the most visited profile on the website. And what I wanted, I put the, the things up there, like I want you to note that she's being visited when the website is set to German. And when you see her profile, we're gonna have a look in a minute, it's in German. She's a German bars facilitator. She's clearly targeting German people. Okay, and you'll see down the bottom here, Fabio, Portugal, uh, Brazilian, sorry, and then the rest are in English. So let's look at Andres, please. Next slide. Okay, so this is what her profile looks like. It's pretty, nicely formatted. There's a couple of things I want you guys to take notice of here, and we'll, we'll see why that's important as we move along. The red part there is her welcome. It's the German way of saying welcome. We'll look at the translation in a minute, but it means heartfelt welcome. The thing I want you to notice here is how many times does the word access bars, the phrase access bars, appear on that profile? Access bars. Is it three, four? It's, it's four times, right? <laughs> I know you can't count. <laughs> I know. I <laughs> And the... <laughs> I know everybody's brain dead, so I'll help you with the numbers. So the most important thing is that access bars is in her first paragraph. Do you see that? Okay, and the website puts access bars, pr practitioner, facilitator on the right-hand side, so that's taken care of. Next slide, please, sir. So here's the translation. I'll read it out so that the audio people can hear. So a warm-hearted welcome, now is your time. Discover the endless possibilities of access bars for you so that you can create more joy and lightness in your life. Now, wasn't that a gorgeous, juicy sentence? Now, key things here. Who's she interested in? She's being interested, isn't she? Not interesting. So when the visitor comes to read this, they get a sense that this is about them. This person might care for them and have something for them. And so it's got lots of views in it. And access bars sits right there in the middle, okay? So I want you to take note of that. Access bars in the middle. Yako, thank you. This is what it looks like in, for Google. This is a Google search snippet. A couple of things I want you to take notice of here. The title, you see down the bottom, is limited to about 70 characters, including spaces. So if you have a really long name, it's gonna push and truncate the access consciousness part out. Now, the access consciousness part is actually quite important, and we'll, we'll have a look at that in the next slide or two. 
The URL is taken care of by Google. The bit there, you'll see that's Andrea's uh, first paragraph. Now what we want to do is to give you some control over what that looks like. Because at the moment, Google's analyzing all of the text on your page and making something up. So for these free profiles that we're looking at, Google's actually got the right thing, which is great. But sometimes it pulls together lots of different text and makes something up that doesn't make sense. Okay? The description, which is the bottom bit, 140 to 170 characters. Anything after that will get truncated, chopped off. So you need to get your message across in that first part of that sentence, okay? And there's plenty of online places where you can go and paste in your words and it'll calculate the number of spaces and characters for you. Okay, now this is, this is where we need to look at. These are the top phrases and words that people look for, search by, to get to the Access website. Now, if you look at the top 10 there, you'll see that about 60% of them have the words or the phrase access bars in them. And the rest are, or many are access consciousness. And in the top 20 results, this is this year, access bars, I love potty pock. I want to get that one, that's awesome. Now, this is a case of, this is a case of knowing what is. It's not, it doesn't really matter what you think people are looking for, that they might be looking for money or they might be looking for relationship, whatever it is. This is what people search for to get to the site where your profile is. So would it make sense that you would have access bars mentioned in your profile? Would it make sense that you'd put some of those key words and phrases up high so they might appear in Google search results? Yeah? Okay, cool. Next slide, please. Here's Shannon's um, profile. Now I've highlighted what I want you to see here. Is Shannon interested or interesting? Yeah, she's interested. When you come here, you get a sense that Shannon's interested in you, right? And look, let me read this out for you because if you trust you, you never have to prove, justify or explain it to anyone. Now what's it going to take for you to trust you for real? I mean, that's a potent, powerful message, isn't it? It's awesome. Yes, I know. <laughs> get that fixed. <laughs> Well, okay then. Excellent. Okay, so, so the point here again is this is about the visitor that's coming to your profile. It's not about you. It's not I, 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 me, me, me. People are self-interested. They want to know that this is for them. Okay? Next one, please. Oh, and this is what it looks like in Google search results. Now, you can see that Shannon's sentence has been truncated because it's exceeding... The bit that Google has got together is exceeding that 140 to 170 characters. It's 170 characters because Google gives you a bit of extra length with mobile viewers. But you want to get your message in the first 140 characters. Does that make sense? Okay, next slide, please. And Susan Mittermeier, this is the last one. Susan's done something a little bit different with her profile. She's done something that Dane used, or perhaps is still using very successfully, which is her story. Dane has a very long story. <laughs> and when he put it on his web pages and stuff, we said, no, 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 people won't read it, it's too long. And he said, no, I want it. And it's been incredibly successful. People sit there and they read his whole story. And this, Susan, Susanna is a, a psychologist, a psychotherapist, something like that. This is her area that she works in. And all of my life, I've known there is more to life besides drama and trauma, hardship and struggle. Now, if you were having difficulty in life, if you'd you know, if, if life sucked for you and you were having a really difficult time and you read that, it's kind of like, ah, this person understands me. I can relate to this person. And what we're looking to do with this is to encourage the person to read on, right, to find out more. So that first paragraph, if you're spending 100 minutes writing your profile blurb, you should be spending 80 of those minutes writing that first paragraph and refining that that snippet that Google finds. 80% of your time should go to that because if you don't get that into people's attention, they're not going to read anything else. They're not going to click your link. They're going nowhere. So this is really a key part. Jaco, thank you. Now, who would like to bounce their profile up into the top 10%? Yeah, come on, get your hands up. What are we doing here? Okay, cool. So. 
more visible. And what that means is use those keywords, use those phrases that are people are looking for to your advantage. Get them up there, build them into your, your, your text and your copy and your, your sentences. Visitors, right? Make it about them. People are self-centered, self-serving, self-interested. Make it about them. And more valuable, this is about in your profile and what's in it for the person that's looking to click your link? What's in it for them? You know, what would invite them? What are they reaching for? What, what invitation can you be that puts it in their world, the question that they might seek more? Okay, we, we're winding up now. So this is in your public profile. For those of you who have one and those of you who are getting one, hopefully soon. And that is we've put a new section here called Meta Description. And this is not for people, you won't see this on your profile. This is for Google's robots. This is for the little bits of software that run around the internet, indexing pages. It'll be hidden inside the code of the page and that's where these, these robots will find it. And this is where you put your 140 to 170 characters. There's no formatting, it's just straight text because robots don't care whether it's red or blue. Okay, and what I would suggest is in your, where you actually write your blurb, right? That first paragraph, like we saw with, with Andrea Aman, put some, put some time into that, craft that, make it elegant, you know, spend some time with it, really get some help with it if you're not a great writer, and, and get that message in that first paragraph, then bring it down to 140 characters and put it in the meta description. And the website will take care of the rest, it'll put it in the right place, Google will find it, and because you're public blurb and this hidden metadata are congruent together, Google will analyze the page and go, yes, I can see that the metadata description matches what's on the page and it'll choose the metadata description and then you're in control of what people are seeing in search results. Okay? Cool. Cool. Stephen, Stephen, here. Just, just one minute, I'm on a really tight time frame here. <laughs> So what I would say is, I'm here for two days. If, if you have some questions about profiles, please come and seek me out. I'm happy to, happy to talk with you about that. And the second thing I would ask is, this is kind of a new segment in business time. If you like this, if it was valuable to you, please give us some feedback. And if you didn't like it and it's not valuable, that's totally fine. Please give us some feedback. And then we'll know whether to do more with this or add this in, in some other areas that we, we talk with you, okay? So thank you.